Oh, wow. Wow. Well, back to the Oscars now, and what everyone's talking about this morning, Will Smith striking Chris Rock on the Oscar stage. So, I don't know, in real life, if some guy gets up from his chair and hits another guy because he didn't like what he said, wouldn't that be considered assault? Criminal justice expert and former NYPD Lieutenant Darren Porcher is here to shed some light on this for us this morning. Good morning, Darren. So talk to us about what happened. Even though we know Chris Rock has said he's not pressing charges here, can Smith be, Will Smith be in trouble still? Well, if Chris Rock is not going to press charges, Will Smith has nothing to worry about in connection with the criminal justice system because this was a low-level offense and it didn't present a propensity for a greater danger later on down the line. So when is a slap a crime? Well, if this was a domestic incident, meaning a husband or a wife or a child that struck their parent, then the, uh, the presiding authorities, that being police, feel it's necessary to separate the two parties. But here we don't see that great propensity for danger. Therefore, there won't be an arrest. And we've seen these videos. People are playing these clips over and over and over. The slap to you, in your professional opinion, did it look real? <laughs> Unfortunately, in my <laughs> professional opinion, this was clearly real. And it was, it was outrageous, but it happened. And it was totally inappropriate. You see, you know, Chris Rock and his reaction, right? He seems stunned, uh, literally, right? His face was probably stinging at that point. He, uh, you know, at the end of the day, since he did not retaliate, do you, what do you think that means for him? Does he walk away like he's the bigger guy? Chris Rock definitely comes out of this as the winner because he showed amazing restraint. Whereas, let's look at the other side of it. If Chris Rock was to attack Will Smith as he was sitting in his chair, then it would have created more of a combustible situation. So looking at this, Chris Rock was the winner. And, you know, being in that position, obviously, in that type of light, you, this is something that no one really expected coming from Will Smith. We saw a lot of range of emotion that night. Uh, Darren Porcher, thank you so much for shedding your legal expertise on this. Warning, this podcast contains references to ghosts, demons, and a grisly mass murder. This is the story of the Amityville murders, a story you may have heard, but never like this. I'm your host, Donnie Wahlberg, and this is Very Scary People. Listen on Spotify. They had the sexual relationship very out of the norm. It was the control over these women that he got off on. People that are happy and stable don't do something like this. This was a methodical, well thought out murder. If there's two dead women that are here, how many more are we going to find? Sex and Murder, a special two hour season premiere, starts Sunday, April 24th at 10 on HLN.